Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Belisa. Welcome to our channel. We had a situation where we were having to take our batteries from our van out to the backyard where our solar panels are back and forth every day in order to charge the batteries to use in the van. That just was not working. So we decided that we needed to find a way to mount the solar panels to the roof of our Ram Promaster high top van. When we started looking at purchasing a roof rack, they started approximately $600 and go up from there and they did not meet our needs. So we decided to make our own. For the frame of our roof rack, we used one and a half inch PVC pipe schedule 40. We used this type of pipe for the rigidness. Our first obstacle was figuring out how to attach the roof rack to the mounting points on the top of the van. We decided that we would get these one and a half inch caps and because the mounting points are oblong, we would cut a hole in the cap and then we could put the cap on and give it a quarter turn and that would lock it in place. We used the old adage, measure twice, cut once, so that we could make the perfect frame to fit on top of the van. After we created the outside frame according to the mounting points on top of the van, we had to pay special attention to detail to make sure that we could mount the solar panels properly. And because of that, we had to add this T so that they would fit perfectly. As you can see these holes, we measured our four solar panels that are gonna go on here and we drilled holes. We are attaching the solar panels to the PVC pipe using toggle bolts. They are 1 8 inch by 2 inch. And we had to make the holes big enough so that we could get this in and then it can open up and lock them in place so they are not going anywhere. As you can see, we have labeled each piece because now we are going to completely disassemble this and assemble it piece by piece on top of the van, pointing out key steps for you along the way. We have decided that we aren't gonna use PVC glue to glue it together for our first time through anyways, because we believe that since we've drilled holes that go all the way through to both pieces, that that's really gonna lock it in place and glue won't be necessary. Disassembly complete. Now we're heading up to the roof of the van to start putting it back together. Let's go. Toss me up some parts. Can you catch? I think so. <laughs> I don't know if I got that on camera. <laughs> Let's try that. How about I hand them to you? Good plan. <laughs> Good plan. All right, caps coming at you. One. Don't fall off the roof. Two. Diving for a bad throw. Three. Oh, uh. oh. We don't need these directly right now, but oh, that's, true. that's okay when, we're, when we mount the solar panels. All right, so this one we've marked PF for passenger front. So I know that one's gonna go here and it has this oval mark. So I'm going to put it down over. Just to do it like there that. You go. Yeah. And then I'm gonna just turn it this much. I don't know how well. Oh yeah, it looks like you can see in there. So it's not going anywhere. It's locked on. No, especially by the time we put the whole thing together. Yeah. All right. All right. So I'm gonna do the Three same more thing. to go. Okay, and turn. That one's locked. And we've got them marked where they go. Yeah. So we know we're putting it back together the way. Trust me, we took into consideration that this van is going 65, 70 down the freeway. <laughs> and it might hit a headwind of 40, 50 miles an hour. So we, we took special wind tunnel ingenuity and engineering to make sure that this could withstand 150 mile an hour hurricane <laughs> and not rip the solar panels off the roof. Okay. <laughs> all four are on. They're all on. And they're locked in. They're it's, locked in. You got them turned. You want to test them all and just to make certain? I trust you. 
goodness. It'll be a good video when we're picking up solar panels off the freeway. Let me just double check. None of them have like secretly moved. All right. So now we know this is the front yeah. driver middle. So now this just goes on here. Yeah. You and got we, yours? We yeah, I've got mine. All right. I just, it's so tight. I got to put down the camera. Okay. Front assembly is on. That's the middle one. This is the middle front. We'll get a um, rubber mallet if we need to. You're yep. up too high. You have to be, there you go. Push it in. Okay. It, it's okay. That's okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. This It'll come together. I'll smack it with a hammer if needed. With passenger, a rubber we got to make sure the red doesn't show. Yeah. From the Are ground. you holding that one for me? Okay, I think that's good. It was up here, but it wasn't lining up perfect. But nothing a rubber mallet can't fix. We had to make sure that all of the screw holes that go through this piece and the pipe line up perfectly so that everything is great, and now it does. Did you come up with this idea on your own? I did. I just woke up one morning and said, hey, I've got a great idea. All right, there's always someone working in the neighborhood. Panel number one. Can you get it? I got Don't it. drop it on me. Okay, I got it. Panel number two. Don't drop it on anybody. Okay. Panel number three. You got it? Don't got drop it. it on me. Panel number four. All right. You got it? I got it. And we're not talking at all about the wattage or anything like that of our solar panels. We'll save that for another video. This video is all about building the roof rack. Next up, we're going to mount the solar panels to the frame. So we have the screw in and the bolt, the toggle bolt on the bottom. So now we're gonna line it up. I gotta lift this side back up. And if you can hold the front one. Don't fall off the van. Okay. All right, I'm gonna line up. Right, there's that one. And then this one. Oh, that one came out, sorry. Okay, that's okay. All right, there's that one. Okay. And we drop them in and, and they, they snap. Block. Right. Yes. And we're not going to tighten them down until we get them all done. Yes, good idea. All right, I'm doing the last one. I'm screwing the toggle bolt onto the bottom of the screw. So I can get it through the pipe and get it to open and then we're going to hand tighten all of the screws down. Yeah, we have them all in. You just got to hand tighten them. Okay, I'm screwing it in. Tightening the toggle bolt down. Yeah. How tight should I make it? Just snug. You don't want to. It's snug. You don't want to bust it. Okay. Here, I'll hold this one. Okay. It's cool. You can feel it tighten. It's coming down. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's really good. I don't want to snap them. Nope. All right, honey. We have a harness that will attach, attach to all of the wires, and that way only one wire will have to go down into the van. We are very, very proud of this amazing solar panel mount that we now have on top of the van. It's going to work so great. It's going to make things so much easier so that we're not having to transport batteries back and forth. And these just charge the batteries while we're out for the day. So if we're camping somewhere for a week, we constantly have charged batteries to use each night. Like I said previously, we're going to talk about the wattage and our solar panel setup in another video. All right, everybody, we're gonna end our video here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.